very good stage guitars under 1,000 euro. Hello guys. Hello. That is Valeria. And I'm Chris. Hi, welcome to the Tomo YouTube channel. We are shooting a really interesting short video shootout. Just a short presentation of these three guitars. Exactly. So we went for very good stage guitars under 1000 euro. And um, of course, there are millions of uh, different guitars in this pri price range. We just went for three different choices, I guess. Um, and all these do have a very good electronic for the money you pay for the guitar. And um, yeah, I'm curious to find out how they, um, how, how they are. Yeah, I'm very excited. So um, let's start with this one. Yeah, we can start with that one. Oh, that's the new baby. Uh, that's I mean, you were. <laughs> uh, that's a Yamaha Transacoustic LSTA. And um, well, from the looks, it's kind of, oh well, looks kind of standard to me. Yeah. Um, it's got the golden tunis up here. And, and here we go. We have something very special here. And that is this transacoustic thingy. That is the built-in effect in the guitar's body. So what you have there is, um, you have your normal pickup, of course, you have volume for that and everything, but if you push the volume long, you can activate this extra little feature. It's, an, it's basically like a speaker built into your guitar with an effect unit. We're not gonna show that right now because we're concentrating on stage things. It sounds pretty funny to hear effects coming out of your acoustic guitar without plugging it in. Uh, the pickup itself is what's interesting right now. We're plugged straight into a DI box and uh, going right into the computer and recording in it. And um, let's see how it sounds. <gasps> Balanced, we balanced. Guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got a nice warm sound, um, which is nice for song singer songwriters as I am. So um, that fits to my voice, for example, um, makes it round. But it's kind of um, not really crystal clear. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, and it does have some mid range to it. Yeah. And uh, what's very nice, the guitar came with a perfect setup. I mean, it's really effortless to play this guitar, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so otherwise uh, the woods are pretty, I would say, standard, but nowadays they're not <laughs> really standard anymore because... Um, What's in there? Yeah, so um, on the front you have your solid spruce, and on the sides and back, well, you guess, it's rosewood. And Ooh. it's not just any, you know, layered wood, it's solid rosewood. And, um, you know, that's a feature you don't get um, very often, especially not under 1,000 euros. Um, so if you go for that, that's nice. Also, you have your mahogany, um, rosewood, mahogany, rosewood, mahogany neck. <laughs> Can you it's, repeat that? Yeah, mahogany, rosewood, mahogany, rosewood, mahogany <laughs> neck. Uh, yeah, almost. Almost. And, uh, and an ebony board. So it's a, a really classy selection of woods. <laughs> The, yeah. I like the picking. It's it's a nice, nice, sweet sounding guitar. Yeah. 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 So what about your guitar? Yeah, it's the opposite. This is the brand new CLJ minus 45E uh, and some letters on the end too for some kind of tobacco burst. Uh, vintage sunburst, so VS. And um, it has a solid spruce top and uh, that's it with solid wood because that's mahogany but it's um, layered wood. It's not 
solid, but it also doesn't cost you at all that much. Yeah. What about the pickup? And this is a Fishman ICs Plus, um, which is a very standard pickup, basically, um, but it still sounds very good. I like the acoustic sound very much. Um, I know the pickup, um, so I know it's not gonna be your most exclusive, crazy high-end, you know, uh, piezo mixed with a mic inside a body kind of sound. And it does the job, it sounds very good, and if something happens to a guitar like this, you will most probably not break down <laughs> crying and, I don't know, <laughs> uh, only because of that, because it didn't cost you, you know, one, two, three thousand euros. Alrighty! Numero tres. Tres. So what do you got there? I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> it's of course the uh, Bruce Springsteen signature Takamina guitar, but it's called EF341 and something else on the end. For some reason. Does anyone know why this guitar is called EF341 if it's a Bruce Springsteen signature guitar from Takamini? Uh, please let me know in the comment section. I'm really honestly interested. And there's a C and an S at the end as well. Well, right. uh, yeah, I guess I'll just play it a little. It's a big sound. It's big sound, um, lots of frequencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's um, the exact opposite of that yeah. guitar. Yeah, this one is completely different. This one is way warmer. Um, I would never choose this kind of guitar. Okay. Just okay. because of the type of music that I, okay. uh, I do. More because of the picking or like being a picker instead of a strummer uh, or more of um, being a singer? Being, a, being a female singer with a female <laughs> Clear uh, voice. But yeah, sure, which is up in those frequency ranges where this guitar is really yeah. strong, okay? Well, Bruce Springsteen, uh, male voice, mm -hmm. right in the middle, makes so sense. it makes sense. Yeah, okay. So good. what kind of uh, wood is in there? Zeter top. Mm. <laughs> mm. Solid, and of course also a solid maple side and backs. Okay. So uh, it is um, it is an obvious choice for acoustic guitars, but it is not your most common uh, wood combination. Uh, Maple does have crazy bottom end, end, which is very nice, but it is not the most mid rangey sounding wood. Mm -hmm. And that fits probably like a, a baritone or a, a tenor male voice, but it doesn't really fit probably if you have a higher voice and a clear female voice. Um, but if you just want to have a guitar that sounds very nice alone, or in a band with a cajon and a whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a very impressive sounding guitar too. Can you do some strumming? Yeah, yeah sure. It's really loud. Really and, loud. And the pickup is, of course, very important in, in this case. We're talking stage guitars. Takamini is very famous for their um, pickups as well. And they are building them themselves forever. And they are very good. They mm -hmm. do have a specific, interesting mid range and a, an overall um, corrector. So that's it. Uh, which uh, guitar did you like the most? Uh, comment on the section below and subscribe. And Don't hit forget the bell. The bell. Yes. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.